In this video, let's look at playback speed, and I'm not talking about ships, but hyperdecks. And on a hyperdeck, you can control both um, the, the playback speed forward and backward, so you can basically do slow motion and fast motion. And one sought for feature is that Skyhawk controllers will allow you to do this using a slider. So on some of our controllers, like the um, Livefly, you find the slider, which is often used for transitions, but you can just as well map it to controlling the speed of your recording deck. So um, I brought a hyperdeck, you see it right here, it is uh, loaded with a clip of a train and we can uh, play this back and forth. You see that we have mapped as traditionally done some buttons to uh, stop and uh, play back clips. You see I'm now playing back the clip, I can now stop the clip using the, the stop button and so forth. We have record, preview, uh, previous click, uh, clip, next clip and uh, notice one feature if you haven't seen it, on the playback button we actually present you the name of the clip, which is pretty cool. This button over here is showing you the playback speed. So currently we are at um, one times playback speed, but the slider, the slider is mapped to control this. And as I am now increasing, or um, moving the slider up, you'd see that the playback speed is increasing as it's uh, now mentioned in, in the display. We can also go in the opposite direction and actually do it backwards like that. Now, um, there are a few options I would like to show you for controlling playback speed because it's really this simple in a sense. You just assign it to the slider and you can use uh, a display in this case with the button, but sometimes we have controllers where display is not associated with any function. You can just map it to down there. So the question becomes, how is this configured? How do you do this on a Skyhawk controller? Now, um, the Skyhawk firmware app is currently connected using USB to the LiveFly. So when it is that, you can press the local configuration. That button will bring up a web interface, and we are assuming that your controller is on the same network as the computer where the firmware updater is running. So when um, you see the, the, the slider here is, is selected in the web interface, the fader has been assigned the hyperdeck shuttle command, and it's currently set to eight times. I just want to go and visit the button number seven that has um, the uh, the, the speed um, reporting attached to it, and you see that this has been um, th this has been given the action reverse to show the sp the playback back speed of the slider. Now, um, the main thing I wanted you to see and look at is how we can change the maximum speed of the shuttle function. So if I go to 16 and I press save, and notice in the local web configuration interface, you are saving directly to the controller's internal memory, which means that immediately as we are now um, operating the fader, you have the uh, 16 times speed the, as the max speed. And we could even go in the opposite direction. So what if I go to one time speed, would that make sense at all? Well, it depends uh, on what you want. Now, the Hyperdeck is not a great slow-mo playback device, but at least you can see that I'm now currently running it at one time speed. I can also go backwards by one time speed, and I have some steps in between these, where you can see I'm now choosing a speed which is obviously slow motion. Uh, not great slow motion, as said, but at least it is giving you a speed in between one and zero. So let's uh, put this at four, just to prove the point that we have now assigned this to, to maximum speed of four, as you can see in the display. And that's basically it. So there you go, live fly speed control using a fader. You can do it on any of our panels where you find a fader to control the shuttle speed of a recording deck like the Hyperdeck. Mm -hmm.